introduction. Um, well, it's a little longer than a little introduction, but I'll try to keep it short. <laughs> so in 1968, Lindsay and I lived in San Francisco, and we were in a band. And we were in a really good band, and we opened for all of the very big San Francisco acts of that time, which was the best time you could possibly be in San Francisco. This was basically the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Kate Ashbury, Fillmore, it was, it was all there, and Lindsay and I were there for it. So we were in this band, and we opened for big acts, Jimi Hendrix, 75,000 people. Janis Joplin, 30 to 40,000 people. Santana, Queen's Clearwater, and that's only four of the many, many bands that we opened for. So we were making pretty good money. We worked every weekend, and I heard a rumor that there was a clothes store up in downtown San Francisco where all the rock and roll girls bought their clothes. Of course, I was interested. Intrigued. So the name of this store was The Velvet Underground. So I decided I would save my money and I would go up there and I would try to buy something. So I did, and I went up there and I found the store, and I walked into this really beautiful, very small store. And I realized, being the practical cleaning lady that I was, that there probably wasn't anything there that I could afford. However, I was standing in this room on this hand-painted floor, and I figured this is exactly where Janice Joplin stands when she comes in here, because I know she gets her clothes in. So I stood there and I had a little bit of a premonition, and I felt something coming, and I knew it was big, and I knew it was musical. So, and guess what it was? It was this. There it was. So anyway, the reason I'm telling you this crazy story about this crazy store, The Velvet Underground, is because everybody has their own Velvet Underground moment. And I just want to remind you that in this crazy, insane world that we live in today, that if you have a passion for something, doesn't matter how old you are, you can be old or young or middle-aged or it doesn't matter. If you have a passion for something that you love and you believe in it and it's what you want, don't let anybody tell you you can't have it. Don't let anyone tell you you're not pretty enough, you're not talented enough, you're not smart enough, because that's all crap. We are living proof that you can have anything that you want. You just reach up there in the stars and you grab that star and you pull it down and you are in the Velvet Underground. So I'm back to the Velvet Underground. Back to the floor that I love. Back to a room with some lace and some paper flowers. Back to the gypsy that I love.